Hey, this is Blythe from The Blythe Life, and I am going to do a quick video of just how fast can I lanolize a cloth diaper cover with Stephanie's Soaperies Wool Wash Bar with Lanolin. This takes the guessing game out of lanolizing wool cloth diaper covers. This is amazing. I wished I had it whenever my little was in cloth diapers because this takes out all of the guesswork. There is no boiling water and melting lanolin. There's no adding in cool water and hoping your lanolin doesn't clump. This is literally one step and it's already ready for you. It's in bar form. I love Lano Rich washes. It's one of my favorite things to use because it takes the guesswork out of lanolizing. However, it's in liquid form. It's a big bottle. It's heavy. It's expensive to ship. This is in a bar. Um, so this is amazing for travel. It is going to be easy to ship. And she's going to put them in really cute molds for us. So I'm really excited. So hoping we get some little sheep or something. Something super cute. Anyways, let's see exactly how fast from start to finish I can lanolize a wool cloth diaper cover. All right. I'm going to get my water lukewarm. Not hot, not cold, just lukewarm. And I'm going to fill my Dollar Tree dish bin with water. making sure it doesn't get too hot because we, we don't need it too hot. You can use a mixing bowl, any kind of pan. I recommend not doing it in your seat because again, lanolin is a fat and when fat cools, it solidifies and you don't want that in your pipes. So that's why I like to use like a mixing bowl or these really inexpensive dish pans. And I just keep this stored under my kitchen sink. So I'm just taking this Lano Rich wash bar and I'm just swishing it around in my lukewarm water. I'm gonna do this for 20, 30 seconds. Depending upon how much lanolin you like on your wool is how long you swish around. I really like my lanolin as well. So I'm going to rub it around like I'm washing my hands, and I'm going to mix it in really good. I'm excited to see how long these last because it's not using a ton, but it's really making the water nice and milky and creamy, and I can feel the lanolin on my hands, nice and silky and smooth, and no clumping. This is amazing. So I'm just going to continue to swish this around until I get some good bubbles worked up. Having the soap already in the bar with the lanolin immediately emulsifies your solution for you. All right, nice and milky and creamy. Feels really good and silky on my hands. I'm gonna go just a little more swish. When you do this at home, I'd recommend doing it in the sink. I am splashing quite a bit here. And that's it. Lano bath is done. Sticking my cover in. And I'm gonna squish the lanolin into the fibers. Making sure, especially in the wet zone, I like to work those fibers over just a little bit and make sure they're absorbing a lanolin. I can already feel the silkiness on the interlock fabric. This particular cover is a Abrazo cover from Bumby. I partner with them. I love her Abrazos especially. I just started hand dyeing and sewing um, the classic type shape. So I have those in my brand in the store as well. And these styles of covers saved my naps in nighttime with cloth diapering. Baby wakes up dry, sleeps longer, uh, is super comfortable because it's not plastic that they are laying on all night long. And this, I've already worked it in really well. It feels good. You can kind of, it's gonna start already bubbling up water. All right, so 
flannel is you can let it sit a little bit if you want to I wouldn't recommend letting it sit any longer than five minutes it's not necessary it's already worked into the fibers um, and so you're not going to get much more benefit if you let it soak. Some people do, and that's fine. Like if you don't want to sit here and squish, just dunk it, walk away, and then come back. But I'm going to squeeze out my excess water. I always fold it and squeeze out. You never wring wool. Wringing a wool, especially wet, will warp the shape of the fabric. So you always squeeze and then I'm going to lukewarm water or cool and I'm going to rinse the soap out real quick. Get all this soap off and you use lukewarm or cool water because you don't want to lose the lanolin. You don't want super hot water because you want the lanolin to be left behind but you want the soap to be rinsed out. You don't want soap against your baby's skin. You want it rinsed out really well. So I'm just gonna swish this around just a little bit, make sure all the soap is out, get all the residue off. And it's feeling nice. I'm really excited. Squeeze out the excess. These double layer covers hold a lot of water. So I'm going to bring it over here to my bath towel. I'm going to lay it out flat. And I'm going to roll it up in my towel. I'm going to squeeze out the excess water. This just helps it dry faster. And then I like to lay mine out flat on a drying rack that I have. Sometimes I put a, a fan underneath it and that helps it dry quicker. And then it is good to go. All right, start to finish. That was just a couple of minutes and it's ready to dry. It feels incredibly soft. I can feel the lanolin on it but it's not sticky, but you can feel that it has that layer on the fibers. Incredibly soft. I'm so excited to see what this feels like dry. And this is ready to go. That is how quick and easy Stephanie's wool wash bar with lanolin makes lanolizing wool. So again, if you have questions, please feel free to email me or contact me. These wool wash bars we're testing right now, but they're going to be available in the store very soon. I'm really excited. I think this will help take the intimidation out of using wool in your cloth diaper stash. Hope you have a blessed day.